Little Hippo was a children's animation television series that aired in France in the late 1990s. There was also an English dub that aired in the late 1990s as well, but no video of it has been recovered for a long time. However, there are television listings for an English version that aired on the Disney Channel in the United Kingdom in 1998. Little Hippo is difficult to search in English since the title is common enough to provide a random amount of irrelevant results. And it was never released on home video in English-speaking areas. The English dub was utilized in the Northern Kurdish and Zaza versions on Zayark TV, and the English intro can be accessed on YouTube, implying that the English dub was still available somewhere. On Mediatune Distribution's website, some snippets from the show were discovered, including a portion of the intro. But then finally, on February 5th, 2022, YouTube user Dora Dubs Productions found a DVD containing part of the dub, rendering multiple full episodes found. All of Volume 1 can now be found on a channel named Little Hippo Unofficial. Wallace and Gromit's films have been successful and popular in a number of countries including Japan. The commercial in question had Wallace and Gromit riding on the motorbike with a stunt team of sheep and they all fall off and then land again in a vertical line with Wallace and Gromit on top. Then it shows Sean at the bottom steering and the tortoise on Wallace's head serving as a helmet. According to a resume of Mark Chamberlain, the ad is simply titled Sumitomo, Wallace and Gromit. It also says the commercial runs for 15 seconds and was shot on 35mm film and directed by Dave Osmond. Furthermore, or this list of a release date on the resume in the year 2000. Although Bigfoot Productions claims to have completed post-production on it in 2001, it's likely Mark was referring to when he worked on it and the ad was only completed the following year. The ad may have been available for viewing on Sumitomo's official website, but unfortunately the video is not archived on the same server and the ad cannot be viewed there anymore. Up until 2022, the only footage of it that could be viewed is what appears to be a single second clip from the 2002 Wallace and Gromit's Kraken Contra Patients DVDs behind the scenes extras and a picture of the ad from the same webpage. Then finally, on February 25th, 2022, an anonymous user emailed Lost Media Wiki founder Dicate, informing him that they had a Wallace and Gromit DVD that contained the commercial. So he sent the footage over to him, and to his surprise, the commercial actually ended up being a pudding commercial. It was then uploaded to the Lost Media Wiki YouTube channel. Fries With That was a Canadian sitcom that aired on YTV in 2004. The show follows a group of friends in high school as they work at a fast food restaurant called Bulkies. The show was inspired by a Quebec French comedy show titled A Grenade With That. The show overall received pretty low ratings despite a two season run and was cancelled after season two. From April 15th through December 18th, 2004, the show aired on YTV. It was aired on YTV for two seasons before being discontinued shortly after the second season ended. The show was cancelled in 2006, however, it was revived in 2010 for reruns. It was eventually replaced by a teen prank show called Prank Patrol, making it the final episode of Fries With That to appear on television. The plot follows a group of high school friends who work at a fast food restaurant called Bulkies. Patty, Robin, Tess, and Alex spend most of the show worrying about their friends, dating, body image, and being part of the crowd rather than really working. Meanwhile, manager Ben is always agitated about the rest of the staff not working and attempting to get them to do so. Despite the fact that Fries With That tanked in the ratings, the show actually won three awards, which were the Certificate of Recognition and Media of Print Award, the Silver Remy Award, and the Best Children's of Youth Program at the 20th Gemini Award. No home media was made available due to the overall failure of the show. From 2004 to 2006 and again in 2010, repeats of the show aired on a sporadic basis. Reruns were also allegedly rumored to have broadcast on YTV during the early morning hours of 2008, although this was not confirmed. Nearly the entirety of Fries With That would remain lost until February of 2013, when 16 episodes of the first season would resurface on YouTube from a user by the name of NH Sodom. Following this, a few more episodes have also resurfaced in the coming years and in mid-February 2022, the whole series would be uploaded to YouTube by a user named Mariah Lambier. Twinkle the Dream Being is a South Korean animated series produced by Zodiac Entertainment, Sei Young Anatel, and Coleco Entertainment. The series stars an alien genie named Twinkle and his friends Nova and Wishbowl as they go out granting wishes for another planet called the Land of Possibility. However, evil witch Miss Diva and her two henchmen always try to start trouble by trying to take the planet over, only for Twinkle to stop them. Because Zodiac Entertainment went out of business in 1994 and Sei Young joined with Dong Wu Animation, the series was never distributed on a home video. It's unclear whether Coleco or NBC TV owns the show. The series is also quite hard to find in English. 
There were a few findings of partial English clips, and a YouTuber by the name of Beloved Cartoons uploaded the entire English theme song onto his channel in July of 2016. A whole about 8 years later, on February 12th, 2022, all 26 episodes in English were uploaded by YouTube user Cosmic77 after he found them on a private torrent site. The Fire Emblem franchise has spawned a lot of manga adaptations, the majority of which have been four comas. If you didn't know, four comas are a comic strip format that generally consists of comic strips within four panels of equal size ordered from top to bottom. Fire Emblem Four Coma Manga Theater, the first series of four comas, was published between 1994 and 1997, with the first four volumes covering the Arcania Saga and the last two volumes covering the fourth game, Genealogy of the Holy War. Until 2005, when Fire Emblem Champion Sword concluded its run, the franchise would continue to receive manga adaptations. Although some of the four coma anthologies are known to contain moderately sexual material, the rest of them are recognized to have a sillier and lighter tone than the tone seen throughout most of the Fire Emblem games. Though four coma adaptations of games released in the 2010s are plentiful, the early ones have long been out of print, with the vast majority having yet to be fully uploaded to the internet. The main reason being that all the four coma adaptations released at the time were created by fans of the series. Used copies of the early four coma mangas are still available for purchase on various Japanese websites. Also, there was no way of knowing how many four comas were produced between 1994 and 2002. Lost Media Wiki user Technocolor announced on December 15th, 2021 that they have purchased one copy of each of the six volumes and will be scanning and uploading them in their entirety. After the mangas have been fully uploaded, this leaves only three copies that have not been fully posted. Then only about one month later, on January 10th, 2022, Fire Emblem was eventually uploaded in its entirety for the first time by Technocolor.